Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with the Canadian Economist, now part of an exclusive global club selected to receive the prestigious Nobel Prize. David Card's pivotal research challenged the status quo on minimum wage, and his work showed that raising it didn't stop employers from hiring. Card got the news just as he was going to bed. I'm standing here in my pajamas. <laughs> my wife is, is taking a picture and making, kind of making fun of me. Rather than making fun of you, what I'd like her to do is to send me that picture. Um, we... <laughs> okay. This guy wants the picture. <laughs> His wife, Cynthia, capturing that historic moment. CTV's Heather Butts on how Card's impact extends well beyond the ivory tower of academia to fast food restaurants on Main Street. In the sample. The Guelph, Ontario born professor currently teaches at Berkeley, but hasn't forgotten his Canadian sense of modesty. So many people have helped me along the way um, that I am not entirely sure that I should be the, the, the one person uh, that's singled out for, for an award. Card studied real world situations to examine economic questions, such as what happened when New Jersey raised its minimum wage in the early 90s using fast food restaurants in bordering Pennsylvania as a comparison. The pioneering research showed giving workers more money did not lead to less hiring. It is not, you know, that we should raise the minimum wage necessarily, but it's rather a, 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 a focus on a different way of thinking about how wages are set. The new focus on decades-old research comes during a pandemic with increasing calls for better wages for frontline workers. Across Canada, minimum wage varies from a low of $11.75 in New Brunswick to a high of $16 in Nunavut. CARD's research also concluded immigrants do not lower pay for native-born workers. The Nobel Prize Committee is giving permission to the premiers and to the federal government to raise the minimum wage and give millions of people permanent residence status. Uh, but not just because, you know, immigrants build the economy or increasing minimum wage doesn't hurt the economy, but because we are human beings. His Canadian mild mannerisms has um, contributed to him being um, so well liked. Philip Oriopoulos, an economics professor at U of T, was a student of David Card's at Berkeley. It wasn't just his own studies that uh, contributed to public policy, but the influence he had on so many other economists. Card shares the award with two other researchers, Hito Embens and Joshua Angrest. It's an honor to get the Nobel Prize. These three laureates have really fundamentally changed the way empirical research is done in economics. The award for economics is the last Nobel to be announced. David Card and the two other winners will share the $1.4 million prize. Omar. All right, Heather, proud moment for Canada. Thank you.